Ever wondered what the oldest unsolved problem in mathematics is? Prepare to be intrigued as we dive into an enigma that has stumped the greatest minds for centuries. Yes, we're talking about the Goldbach conjecture, a mathematical puzzle that is as old as it is unsolved. Originating in the year 1742, this conjecture was proposed by a man named Christian Goldbach, hence the name. It's a problem so simple in its essence that even a third grader could grasp it, yet it remains elusive to the sharpest minds in the world. So, what's this big baffling puzzle? Well, it's merely this. Can every even number greater than 2 be expressed as the sum of two prime numbers? Sounds simple, doesn't it? And that's the beauty of it. It is an enigma wrapped in the plainest of mathematical clothing, a problem so straightforward that it's almost insulting. Yet, here we are, nearly three centuries later, still scratching our heads. Now imagine being a mathematician, spending years studying complex theories and equations, only to be stumped by a question that a third grader could understand. That's like being a world-class chef and not being able to boil an egg. It's no wonder then, that the Goldbach conjecture has such a fabled status in the world of mathematics. But it's not just the simplicity that makes this problem so fascinating. It's the fact that despite its straightforward nature, despite the countless hours put into cracking it, and despite the progression of mathematical understanding over the centuries, the Goldbach conjecture remains unsolved. It's a testament to the fact that sometimes the simplest questions can be the most profound. So, as we delve deeper into this enigmatic enigma, prepare yourselves to be amazed, perplexed, and maybe even a little frustrated. And if you enjoy being baffled by math as much as we do, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe, because trust us, there's plenty more where this came from. So, what exactly is this Goldbach conjecture? Imagine it like this. You're at a party, and there's a bowl full of even numbers. You're asked to pick any even number from the bowl except 2, because 2 is the only even number that's not a fan of mingling. Now your task is to break down the number you've picked into 2 prime number partners. Sounds easy, right? Well, that's essentially what the Goldbach conjecture is all about. This mathematical riddle was first proposed by a German mathematician named Christian Goldbach in the 18th century. He put forth the idea that every even integer greater than 2 can be expressed as the sum of 2 prime numbers. A prime number, if you're not familiar, is a number that only has two distinct positive divisors, one and itself. So, numbers like 3, 5, 7 and so on. Now, here's where things get interesting. Despite the simplicity of the problem, it's been evading a proof for nearly three centuries. Yes, you heard that right, mathematicians from around the globe have been scratching their heads over this one for hundreds of years. The problem can be easily understood by a middle schooler, yet it remains unsolved by the most brilliant minds in the field. Why is it so hard? Well, prime numbers are a bit like cats, unpredictable and difficult to pin down. There's no formula or pattern to predict where the next prime number will land on the number line. This makes the Goldbach conjecture all the more tantalizing and frustrating at the same time. But don't let its simplicity fool you. The Goldbach conjecture, though unproven, has been tested extensively. It holds true for all even numbers up to at least 4 trillion. Yes, trillion with a T. And that, my friends, is the beauty and frustration of the Goldbach conjecture. Now you might be wondering why should we care about this centuries-old math problem. Let's delve into that. The Goldbach conjecture, despite its seemingly simple statement, holds profound significance in the world of mathematics. It's not just about the allure of an unsolved mystery, but about the potential for groundbreaking insights into the fundamental properties of numbers. At its core, the Goldbach conjecture is a hypothesis about prime numbers, those indivisible numbers that are the building blocks of mathematics. Primes are to numbers what atoms are to matter, the irreducible components from which everything else is formed. But despite their centrality, primes are remarkably elusive. They don't follow a predictable pattern, and much about them remains shrouded in mystery. The Goldbach conjecture, if proven, could shed light on the enigmatic nature of these primes. It might reveal hidden patterns, and help us understand the intrinsic properties of these mathematical atoms. The conjecture could be a Rosetta Stone, a key to deciphering the cryptic language of primes. Moreover, the conjecture is a cornerstone of number theory, a branch of mathematics that deals with properties and relationships of numbers. A solution to the Goldbach conjecture could revolutionize this field, opening up new avenues of research and potentially leading to breakthroughs in other areas of mathematics. But the implications extend beyond mathematics. 
Prime numbers play a crucial role in modern technology, especially in the realm of cryptography, which is the art of secure communication. If we can gain a deeper understanding of primes through the Goldbach conjecture, it could have a ripple effect, enhancing the security of our digital world. So you see, the Goldbach conjecture is not just an ancient puzzle waiting to be solved. It's a tantalizing prospect with the potential to reshape our understanding of numbers, technology, and even the universe itself. The Goldbach conjecture isn't just a math problem, it's a key to unlocking deeper understanding of the universe. Over the centuries, many have tried and failed to prove the Goldbach conjecture. Let's dive into some of these attempts. Our journey begins in the 18th century with the Swiss mathematician Leonhard Euler. Euler, the Mozart of mathematics, dedicated himself to the conjecture and while he couldn't provide a general proof, he did manage to prove it for the smaller numbers. His work laid the foundation for future mathematicians to build upon. Fast forward to the 20th century, we have the Russian mathematician Ivan Vinogradov. He took a huge leap by proving that the conjecture is true for all sufficiently large numbers. The irony? He couldn't specify what sufficiently large meant. It's like saying, I can touch the sky but only if I'm high enough. Then came along computers, changing the game completely. In the late 20th century, mathematicians started using computers to verify the conjecture for large numbers. The first of these was a duo, Thomas Oliveira e Silva and Silvio Pardi, who used a supercomputer to check all even numbers up to 4 trillion. In the 21st century, the Peruvian mathematician Harold Helfgott made significant progress. He proved the conjecture for all odd numbers greater than 5, and all even numbers greater than a certain threshold. While this threshold is astoundingly high, it's a step closer to a complete proof. And let's not forget the countless unnamed mathematicians who toiled away at this centuries-old problem, their efforts adding to our collective understanding of the conjecture. It's worth noting that all these attempts while not providing a complete proof, have brought us closer to the truth. Each failure has been a stepping stone, each attempt a beacon of light illuminating the path forward. So, where do we stand today? Well, despite the leaps and bounds in mathematical thought and the advent of powerful computational tools, the Goldbach conjecture remains elusive. It's like a siren song, calling out to mathematicians, luring them into its intricate web of numbers and patterns. While we've come close, the Goldbach conjecture remains a tantalizing mystery. We've journeyed through centuries of mathematical history today, all centered around one unsolved problem. The Goldbach conjecture, a puzzle that has held mathematicians in its grip since 1742. It's a simple idea, really. Every even number greater than 2 can be expressed as the sum of two prime numbers. Yet despite its simplicity, it has proven to be a tough nut to crack. We've explored the significance of this problem. It's not just about numbers or equations. It's about the core of mathematics itself, about how we understand the universe. It's about the patterns and structures that underlie reality. The Goldbach conjecture touches upon these profound issues, making it one of the most important unsolved problems in mathematics. And oh, the attempts at solving it. From Euler, the great 18th century mathematician, to the modern day mathematicians with their powerful computers, the conjecture has resisted all attempts at a proof. Yet every failed attempt has brought new insights, new theories, and new directions for mathematical research. The quest for a solution to the Goldbach conjecture is a shining example of how even failure can push the boundaries of knowledge. But the story doesn't end here. The Goldbach conjecture, like many other unsolved problems, is a beacon, a call to adventure for the curious minds. It invites you to explore, to question, to wonder, who knows? Perhaps you could be the one to finally crack this centuries-old puzzle. The world of mathematics is full of such intriguing mysteries waiting to be solved. The journey we embarked on today is just the beginning. There's so much more to explore, so many more enigmas to unravel. So, I encourage you to dive deeper, to keep asking questions, to keep seeking answers. If you found this journey into the world of unsolved math fascinating, don't keep it to yourself. Share this video with your friends and let's spread the intrigue of the Goldbach conjecture. Until next time, keep wondering and keep exploring.